Just, yeah, there's no, no there's creativity. No, this no, game no, lacks no, creativity no, compared to the original no, Angry Birds. It's literally just a copy and paste game. There are, it, there's one thing about this game that makes it completely unplayable. Worst ABG. Daily quests are gone and gems are practically useless for free to play players. Wow. You just found more ways to ruin your game. Good job. One purchase, like one car, you could buy for $99, and, and that really upset a lot of people. But when you make one mistake, you can't retry the stage, because you lose lives. If you lose all your lives... In-game purchases to not be too ugly and pushy with it, uh, not to piss all the fans off, not to piss all the fans off, not to piss... Uh, Angry Birds 2 added a battle pass like Journeys, and it just killed the game even more so than Journeys did. Not to piss all the fans off. This is because Angry Birds 2 originally had daily challenges that you can complete and get like a lot of gems and... Not to piss all the fans off. I am giving this thing a 0 out of 10. Put some pigs over there, put some pigs in there. Yeah, put some of these, put some of these. And yeah. If you don't wanna wait, you have to use gems. If you don't have enough gems, then use your money to buy some. Whose idea is this? Yes. Oh, and one more thing. You are no longer able to use your spells. Another screw up. Not to piss all the fans off. But now they've made it virtually impossible for any free-to-play players to get gems, so yeah. F*** Rubio. Okay, so before we begin, if you're wondering why my audio sounds a bit weird, is because I'm recording this with my other phone, and, um, I don't have a mic, <laughs> okay? Uh, I don't have a mic, so you guys are gonna have to bear with me. Um, so, yeah. I hope this doesn't really distract you or whatever. Let's just get started. Angry Birds 2 the sequel to the all-time classic Angry Birds mobile game from 2009. Or at least, that's what the company behind said game is portraying it to be. Over the last four years or so, Angry Birds 2 has turned into yet another Rovio cash cow. But how did Rovio get from this point? How did Rovio get to this point? How did Angry Birds 2 go from this to this? In order to answer that question, we need to go back to when the game was still in its early stages of development. The very beginning. Angry Birds 2, while in its developing stage, was not originally called Angry Birds Under Pigstruction. It was originally titled Angry Birds Big Adventure. Unsurprisingly, this idea for the game would end up being scrapped and replaced with this. Basically, the whole premise of Angry Birds Big Adventure was the Angry Birds going through different time periods, as was shown via the amount of concept art. Angry Birds Under Pigstruction, as it was called at the time, was a sequel to the classic Angry Birds game from 2009, as we discussed previously. Soft launched just over four months before its worldwide release. Fun fact, while I was researching for this video, I tapped on some text on a wiki and found an unlisted video titled, The Guy Who Ruined Angry Birds. I haven't watched all of it, but I'll leave the link to the original video in the description below if you want to take a look at it for yourself. It's really interesting, it also addresses the reason why Rovio made their future games free to play. Moving back on topic, there wasn't really much of a difference between the Pigstruction version and the present day version other than graphical differences and certain gameplay elements. Let's skip forward to the worldwide release for Angry Birds 2. 
July 30th, 2015. I didn't say 2009 there, that was, that was a mistake. Now, at the time, the game was actually not too bad. Unlike now, updated graphics, more bosses, new spells, a brand new bird, a bad undeveloped story, more would be added along the way. There were also customizations you could equip on your bird to give them a unique look. But though the game had all these features, it didn't necessarily mean the game was picture perfect. Though, I do have to say, Rovio did know what they were doing in terms of developing the game. Later down the road, Rovio would make adjustments to already existing elements, remove some elements, and add new ones. And here we are, the present day. What has changed between the original release of Angry Birds 2 and the game as it stands today? Well, quite a lot you would say, and you would be correct. It's pretty easy to discover the differences between old AB2 and new AB2. So, let's get on to the main subject of this video. Angry Birds 2 started to go downhill around the same time Rovio themselves started to go downhill. As you all know, in the year of 2019, the graceful year of 2019, every Angry Birds title released up until 2015 was suddenly removed without reason. You were unable to download or play them, unless you had them already pre-installed before their removal. To say that this angered the Angry Birds fanbase would be an understatement. It would take Rovio two full years to adjust why they removed them. Now, if Rovio addressed the news sooner, after they removed the old games, most fans wouldn't have much issue with it. But the fact that it took Rovio more than 730 days to respond says that they were probably worried what the fans would think if they did tell them the truth sooner. What does this have to do with Angry Birds 2? I know you asked that, and to answer that, remember the year, 2019. What form of Angry Birds media was released in 2019? The Angry Birds Movie 2, a movie to which fans to this day have mixed opinions about. Anyways, Rovio updated Angry Birds 2 to promote the second film. In this update was a new bird, a new boss, and more hats. That new bird that was added was Leonard. It's heavily debated whether or not Leonard fits into the game as a playable character. On one hand, it's unique to play as a pig as we've seen it done before, but on the other, a pig and a flock of birds is kind of weird. There were more updates made to Angry Birds 2, usually it was just more hat sets and bug fixes. But neither one of these would be important near the end of the year. The official Angry Birds YouTube channel would announce a brand new, reformed arena that would be coming to the game. At first, the announcement was received with a lot of praise and hype, but when the new arena was actually added to the game... It was dog s***. Okay everyone, this is me currently editing the video right now, and a very good friend of mine, Angry Birds 311, decided that for this video, he would recount every single hat that is in Angry Birds 2 as of February 2024, which is when this video is being worked on. Now before we begin and uh, see the new amount of hats in Angry Birds 2, I just want to say, please go subscribe to Angry Birds 311. Not only is he a great content creator, but he had to count all these hats, and he lost his sanity by doing so. So I have my um, other phone uh, right here. And as you guys can see, if I can find it... Uh, yep, here we are. There are currently 124 hat sets. Obviously, more are going to be added, but let's see what we got so far. We have 4 commons, 8 uncommons, 21 rares, 14 magicals, 63 exotics. How in the f five legendaries? Nine mighties? And that's it. Wow, wow. Okay, so for those who don't know, the exotic hat sets, um, they cost 10,000 black pearls each. 
Why are there so many god darn hat sets? Like, what's the purpose? And you know Rovio's not going to stop. Like, I have a feeling that Rovio's going to keep adding more hat sets until the game eventually loses support, which may be in about 20 years' time at this rate. But yeah, I just wanted to make this short little segment. Okay, so for this segment, I'm going to let Brian the Clownfish speak. Because for one, Brian hasn't been on this channel in over a year. Second, I need to give my voice a break. So, take it away, Brian. Thank you, Baldwin. Hello again, viewers. As you all know from Baldwin's last video on Angry Birds 2, the new arena was received with a very negative reception. The randomly selected and limited number of birds, balancing issues, the removal of spells, it was a nightmare. Oh yeah. And those terrible homescape style hats. And let's not even mention the Tower of Fortune. It's still very unfair and very luck based. Every update after the new arena was just hats, 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 and even more hats. Like, why so many? Why? While we're on the topic of hat sets, did I fail to mention that as of recent, Rovio had made it so that you are no longer able to purchase hats in the hat shop. The only way you are able to earn new hats now is through the Tower of Fortune, or as the fans call it, the Tower of Torture. Making the currency of Black Pearls completely useless now. That streak would keep going until late 2022, when Rovio teased a new flock member coming to the game, this new flock member would end up being Melody, a bird with an ability too similar to a certain Nintendo character. After Melody was added, you know the routine, more hats. During Pride Month 2023, a new character was created specifically for that year of Pride Month. Joe, the first non-binary Angry Bird. You already know how I feel about this character, but holy crap did Rovio do them dirty. You seriously want to know what they did with this character? Are you 100% sure? Because what I'm about to say next will tear you to your core. Okay, fine. You asked for it. <sighs> oh my goodness. They added Joe into Angry Birds 2 as a duck spell reskin. Yep. A fucking duck spell reskin. That is just a whole new level of pathetic right there. The community does a better job representing this character than a multi-million dollar corporation. That is embarrassing. As much as I'm not fond of Joe, it's rather disappointing to me that Rovio didn't do more with this character. They had potential, they really did. But nope, modern Rovio strikes again. Now we're getting to the bread and butter of the video, and the main reason why I want to make this video in the first place. On November 27th, of 2023, the Angry Birds Gaming Channel would upload a video announcing a brand new update to Angry Birds 2. Sounds like nothing out of the ordinary, right? You'd be wrong. This update, known as the Rainbow Season and Treasure Pass update, from that title alone, you already know what it's about. If you thought the new Arena was the worst update in Angry Birds 2, this one takes it to a whole new level. Let's see what this update has to offer. Oh, speaking of that, there was a battle pass system added. Yep, you heard that correctly. In Angry Birds 2, there is now a freaking battle pass system, just like Fortnite. Oh, and by the way, in the video they tried to portray like you can get all these cool rewards and exclusive avatars, but what they didn't clarify in that video is that you can't get all these things by simply playing the event. You have to use your wallet to buy the pass that includes these items. And the pass itself costs the same amount as a season battle pass in Fortnite. I don't know if that's a coincidence or what, but you got to admit, that is pretty crazy. 
Want to earn gems for free? Well, too bad. You can't do that anymore. Daily quests are gone. If you want more gems and better rewards, you better give Rovio their money. Your money. All jokes aside, this update is single-handedly the worst one so far. And people in the comment section of the announcement video seem to agree. Rovio is just desperate at this point. Locking all this stuff behind a paywall, that's basically what the game is now. If you want a chance of getting slightly better at this game, you have to use your life savings and buy things that are not even going to benefit you later down the road. Oh, and PSA, I wrote the script in December, so who knows, maybe there's going to be another Trash Angers 2 update. At this point, it's not a maybe, it's a most likely. But I took some time to ask a few people on Discord what they thought about the current state of Angry Birds 2. And this is what they had to say. Absolute dog shit. The removal of our main source of gems will impact every part of the game, whether it's Tower of Fortune, Mighty Eagles Boot Camp, Clan Battles, and many, many more. Don't play it. To anyone active now or later, what are your thoughts on the current state of Angry Birds 2, especially after the recent update? F*** it. Perfect answer. There were some people that posted GIFs which I thought was pretty hilarious. It's on life support right now. There are other responses as well, but I just wanted to say these few honorable mentions. It's safe to say that Angry Birds 2 is broken beyond repair. So, learning what led us to this point, how did Angry Birds 2 fail to be a sequel? We already talked about dumb corporate decisions, greedy monetization practices, broken trust with the fan base, lack of a proper story. All of these factors contributed to why Angry Birds 2 failed to deliver as a proper sequel. In fact, to even call this disaster of a game a sequel will be an insult to every video game sequel ever made. I don't think Rovio understands what the word sequel means. The point of a sequel is to continue the story of its predecessor. Angry Birds 2 obviously doesn't do that. Another thing, Angry Birds 2 doesn't offer any real challenges. Something that was very unique about the older Angry Birds titles was the offer of replayability. It was actually difficult to earn all three stars. It offered an experience, an opportunity to get better at the game. The desire to earn all three stars in every level of the episode was very strong. But with Angry Birds 2, that feeling isn't really there. It's way too easy to earn three stars in a level. It takes away the challenge factor. And with there being so many levels in the game, and many more to be added in the future, it's just gonna get repetitive. Rovio can't get the message through their minds because of how blinded they are by greed. I understand at the end of the day, a company has to make money to remain afloat, but if money and personal game are the only things on your mind, then you'll start to have problems. The most destructive weapon in the world isn't guns, it isn't bombs, hell, it isn't even mosquitoes, it's money. And unfortunately, I don't think many people understand just how big of a killer money can be. It is a weapon of mass destruction, it can influence people to make extremely terrible choices. This strategy is obviously working for Rovio, because they would have stopped long ago if that wasn't the case. While well, at the end of the day, they are making a lot of money, it's costing their reputation and their relationship with their fan base. And it looks like Angry Birds 2 will not improve anytime soon. Only the worst is yet to come. Um, so, you know, people were getting worried uh, at Rubio. Like, we, we really need to be careful now because they didn't want to upset the fans with this new free-to-play approach. It's just there's so many levels in this game. It, I will not subject it. myself fact, I to this nonsense of like watching an ad for a life in some cases. Yeah. Ad. Because or I'm gonna have to pay money to buy.